नमो भागवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Five thousand years ago in India, many saints and sages gathered on the banks of the sacred river Ganges. They came from throughout the world to witness the last seven days in the life of the great devotee, King Parikshit. The king had renounced his fabulous wealth to dedicate his few remaining days to spiritual enlightenment. At that meeting, Sukadeva Goswami, the most exalted sage in the assembly, narrated the pastimes and teachings of Lord Shri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He discussed all aspects of knowledge from the creation of the material universe to the culture of spiritual life and held the king and sages in rapt attention. His teachings, known as the Bhagavad Purana, or Srimad Bhagavatam, were transcribed in the ancient Sanskrit language, and their glories are thus explained in the Bhagavat itself. This Bhagavat Purana is as brilliant as the sun and has arisen just after the departure of Lord Krishna to his own abode, accompanied by religion and knowledge, etc. Persons who have lost their vision due to the dense darkness of this age of Kali shall get light from this Purana. Through the ages, these teachings about Lord Sri Krishna were transmitted intact from spiritual master to disciple. Sripad Madhvacharya, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Goswamis of Vrindava, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Sri Gorkishore Das Babaji, and in the early 20th century, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur who ordered his disciples to preach Krishna consciousness around the world. He especially desired to distribute Krishna conscious literature in the Western countries. His disciple, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, took this order as his very life. In 1966, he founded the International Society for Krishna Consciousness for Worldwide Preaching, then for Worldwide Publishing, he established the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust. Srila Prabhupada himself is the author of all of the books. He has been acclaimed as the world's most distinguished scholar and teacher of Vedic philosophy and culture. While translating each Sanskrit verse, he refers to books of commentary by previous spiritual masters and then gives a thorough explanation of the text. Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur gives in this connection a description of the difference of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and ordinary living being. So this is the difference of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and ordinary living being. This has been described in the previous verse. Sadbhaṁ pumāna vīda gunāṁ sutadbhyaṁ na vīda sadbhaṁ manantam mīre. The purpose is that Supreme Lord, He is omnipotent, omniscient. He knows everything, but the living being, uh, does not know actually what is the position of the Supreme Personality of God. That is the difference between the Supreme Personality of God and ordinary living being. Now we will follow one verse as it journeys from translation by Śrīla Prabhupāda through the process of book publication to its distribution around the world. This Bhagavata Purana is as brilliant as the sun, and it has arisen just after the 
departure of Lord Krishna to his own abode, accompanied by religion, knowledge, etc. Persons who have lost their vision due to the dense darkness of ignorance in the age of Kali shall get light from this Purana. Report to graphic design. Navadeep Das. Damodar Prabhu, please pick up on line 40. Thank you, Srimad Bhagavatam. We require 100,000 copies. But in this reprint, we'd like 250,000. Prabhu, this package just arrived by air freight from India. Ah, Jai. This is the latest translation of Srimad Bhagavatam by our spiritual master. Prabhu, take this manuscript to the Sanskrit department and tell them it's first priority. And put a marker next to Srila Prabhupada's name. Jai. From the production manager, the manuscript goes to the Sanskrit department. Krishna Sudham Opakate Dharmagana Divisaha Kala Mustu Dasame Shaparana Kodanodita. Here we see that the ancient script has been rendered into Roman letters. The editor is adding diacritical marks as a guide to pronunciation. This Bhagavad Purana is as brilliant as the sun, Kama, and it has arisen just after the departure of Lord Krishna to cap H his own abode, Kama, accompanied by religion, Kama, knowledge, Kama, etc., period. Persons who have lost An English editor now checks the manuscript for proper punctuation, grammar, and spelling. He dictates the corrected text onto a tape. Paragraph, Lord Sri Krishna has Kap H his eternal Dhamma, comma, or a Bodh, comma, where Kap H he eternally enjoys Kap H himself, with Kap H his eternal associates and paraphernalia, period. His, eternal his recording is then transcribed. In the composing room, devotees retype the text on computerized machines that transfer each typed letter into an electronic code. The codes are recorded on magnetic tape, and any language can be composed in this way. The tape, with its coded information, is now fed into an electronic computer. The coded impulses from the tape are stored in the computer's memory bank. Then the computer activates a photo typesetter. The typesetter converts the stored codes into light-sensitive impressions on photographic paper. 
When the paper is developed in a processor, the resulting image looks exactly as it will appear in the finished book. The typesetting machine can run off more than 2,000 characters per minute. At this rate, the entire Srimad Bhagavatam, as Sukadeva Goswami first spoke it, could be reproduced in 24 hours. The layout man cuts the photographic paper to page size and mounts it on artboard. Next, the page is photographed on a reproduction camera. The retoucher removes any blemishes from the negative. Before the book is printed, blueprints are made of all the negatives and the blueprints are carefully proofread. Meanwhile, during this entire operation, the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust artists illustrate verses and purports from the pages of the Bhagavatam. They begin with pencil sketches, portraying the scenes exactly as they are written. These sketches are sent to Srila Prabhupada for approval and then traced on canvas. With great care and devotion, oils are applied. The artists have to work quickly to keep pace with modern book production techniques. This painting, for instance, took only two weeks to complete. For reproduction, the finished painting is photographed with a special studio camera. A reading on a color analyzer assures that the colors are correctly balanced on the final print. The devotee technician programs a computer processor which automatically develops the print. Next, the picture goes to the layout department where it is scaled to the proper size. The book is now ready to print. At this point, page proofs are checked for accurate color reproduction. After being printed, the books are stored at the BBT warehouse in Los Angeles. From there, they are shipped throughout the world. Well, at this issue, we have to put three pallets aside for Africa, between Nairobi and Johannesburg. Devotees load thousands of books into special air containers to jet freight rush orders within 24 hours.
The narrations concerning the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna, are the oldest writings known to man. Over generations they have influenced civilizations in both the East and the West. Now, under Srila Prabhupada's guidance, the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust has become the world's largest publisher and distributor of these spiritual classics. In English language editions alone, the Book Trust has sold 30 million magazines and 10 million books. Its greatest undertaking is the continuing publication of the 60-volume Srimad Bhagavatam, the essence of all spiritual and material knowledge. The ultimate source of everything that be is explained rationally and authoritatively in the beautiful Bhagavatam. Therefore, it is the transcendental science meant for the re-spiritualization of the entire human society. Another publication of major importance is the 17-volume Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. The original Bengali verses translated and explained by Srila Prabhupada describe the life and teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna himself, appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to deliver the easiest and most sublime process for self-realization in this age. These books offer original Sanskrit and Bengali texts, Roman transliterations, word-for-word -word English synonyms, concise translations and readable purports by Srila Prabhupada. They also feature detailed glossaries, general indexes, verse indexes, pronunciation guides and original full-color paintings and photographs. Also published by the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust are a number of shorter works in cloth and paper editions. In 1944, Srila Prabhupada started publishing Back to Godhead magazine in India. Now his disciples are continuing this work in many other countries. The English language edition has a monthly circulation of one million copies making it the West's most popular periodical on Vedic philosophy and culture. His divine grace is the spiritual master of a worldwide movement, and his books have thus been translated into 15 major languages, including Spanish, French, German, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, Swedish, Dutch, Portuguese, Polish, Swahili, Gujarati, Hindi, and Bengali. Bhagavad Gita, as it is, is the Western world's best-selling and most widely used edition of India's greatest religious classic. Nearly one million copies of the English edition have been sold. Srila Prabhupada's books are studied in universities and colleges throughout the world. In America alone, 90% of the colleges and universities have already ordered these books for their students, professors, and libraries. Harvard, Yale, and Oxford lead the list of prestigious schools that have placed standing orders for all 17 volumes of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita and the entire 60-volume set of Srimad Bhagavatam. Throughout the world, scholars glorify Srila Prabhupada's writings. Dr. J. Bruce Long of Cornell University praised Srila Prabhupada's works as a cause for celebration. And Dr. Daniel H. H. Ingalls of Harvard said, I am most happy to have these handsomely printed volumes. Dr. Gary Gillade of Oxford University wrote, This is a work to be treasured. The spirit of its message shines brightly from the pages. Devotees at the temples of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness study their spiritual master's books daily. They have dedicated their lives to presenting the teachings of Krishna Consciousness to the entire human society.
you have a moment of your time? Yeah, sure. Oh, wonderful. I'm from the Krishna temple, and on the request of my spiritual master, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, we're making these ancient books on transcendental knowledge available to the people here in the West. This is the history of the life and activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. I'll show you one verse, which, you know, is very good, gives a basic idea of the book. It says, this Bhagavad Purana is as brilliant as the sun. And it has arisen just after the departure of Lord Krishna to his own abode, accompanied by religion, knowledge, etc. Persons who have lost their vision due to the dense darkness in this age of Kali shall get light from this Purana. Sanatana Dabhujudav Sridhi 